Hello guildies and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Minecraft server realm. I am here on the village defense map that Xyphus and I have been uh, building up to defend against and as you can hear my lone villager is still inside of here and you might be wondering hey JC why don't you have your uh, shaders on? Well the answer to that is simple I was thinking about doing a time-lapse project and the only third person camera mod I know of is in fact replay so I was trying to get replay working again. Unfortunately, all the replay links now, you know, cycle link through to their uh, ad-supported site that was hosting it before. So they're not available to me right now. Perhaps somebody else out there has a mirrored copy somewhere. I sure would love to get a hold of it. I have the mod for 1. Point, or 1. 1.8, version 1.03 of 1.8, if that makes any sense to you. Those of you who do replay mod know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, it's not working either. Forge installer's giving me troubles, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, we're back here, and the reason I'm going to keep it like this for the time being is because I'm still trying to figure it out. The Optifine shaders and cinematics still look beautiful, and I can, in fact, use Optifine to do some camera uh, recording. However, it's like point A, point B, very much like you would any other <laughs> camera modded recording, but it only works in real time. For example, I couldn't film myself constructing the bamboo farm, or excuse me, sugarcane farm. Those of you who have been watching the show for a while realize that I consider these bamboo. But uh, I, could, I couldn't record myself doing it. I could only record it after the fact. Like, I could start point P1 and point P2, and it would kind of just kind of flow from one to the other with regard to whatever time of day it was when I started it. But that's not what I want to do. So I'm still working on that. If anybody has any solutions, by all means, hit me up. I sure would love to hear about them. All right. As you can see down below, I am level 37 now, and as you can see over here, there are some things that I was planning on doing. Uh, after building this, I got kind of sick of potatoes, so I was thinking maybe I'll turn this into a little chicken coop. I'm trying to utilize the buildings that are here already and kind of incorporate them. So what I was thinking about doing was creating a chicken coop, maybe make this the external part, put a couple pillars up here, and have iron bars kind of acting as the cage. We'll put some pot soil down here or some coarse dirt and uh, do some path blocks there and maybe do a, uh, a rail that leads up into this. We'll knock out that window there. And over here, I've already started the door. Over here, I might put some hay bales down here and here, you know, and replace all of the dirt with hoppers, right? So hoppers leading into a chest here and hoppers leading out. The hoppers leading into the chest would be to gather eggs from chickens that might hatch eggs up in here. Right? So I have to figure a way to do that. If they're going to climb in here and do it or not, that might be a little too random. But if I had enough chickens, they probably would path in and out and lay some eggs up in there from time to time. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. And out here, I would have hoppers that lead out into your standard chicken, you know, cooking rotisserie. The chicken rotisserie, the barbecue, where you would have like a dispenser that would pop the egg out and auto hatch it or not. Uh, but when it does hatch, then have it grow up and its head would be tall enough to hit some lava. You know, but that's something I might do next time or maybe later today. I don't really know. What I'm doing today is trying to convert this building. Hello, sheep. Convert this building into the new library. This was the library before, if you remember from the very beginning. I'm pretty sure we recorded it. At least we streamed it. And this is where I think I'm going to want to put my uh, enchanting table and miscellaneous other things. So if I'm going to put all the bookshelves down here and make this the enchanting room, then I guess this would be where the enchanting table will go. Whoops, that's not an enchanting table, but that is. So this is where the enchanting table will go, and then I'll have to put uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Pretty sure this will be enough. Go ahead and stack them all up. There. Whoops, am I out of books already? Is that enough to give me the full enchant? I don't remember what the full enchants were. What do I have access to? Let's put this diamond pickaxe in there. Efficiency 3, level 28. Nope, I want more. So I obviously need more books. So let's go make some more bookshelves. Right? Okay. Out the door, we'll go make some more books. Four bookshelves, which means I need more paper, which means... Good thing I built this sugarcane farm. Alright, so let me go get the places where there should be a larger number of sugarcane first. And then... You know, I might as well take it all. Let me take all the sugar cane. Okay, guildies, I have finished building my little library here. It doesn't look like much. Maybe I'll put a little bench over here. Put another bookshelf right there so it looks like it kind of fits in a little bit. And uh, 
Oh, I meant to put a torch light in. <laughs> okay, so here we have it. Let's see if I can get up to level 30 now. I'm pretty sure I can. I can. Efficiency 3, is that really what I want, though? Efficiency 2, efficiency 1. No, I don't. What I want is fortune. So, since I have 37 levels, let me go make some... Oh, I can do it right here. No, I can't, because I don't have a crafting bench, but I can make one real fast. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Whoop. One more time. Efficiency 4. Maybe. Maybe I do that and go for it. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, well, that's what I'm promised. Let's see what else I get. Fortune 2. I will take it. That helps a lot. It's not Fortune 3, but it is what I wanted. So, Fortune and Efficiency. Now all I need is Unbreaking. And, uh... Let's see, can I enchant it again? No, I cannot. I should have known that. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and take this down to the very bottom of the road to Diamondville. Oh, let me put a door up. That's part of the reason I brought this over here. Boink. And... Boink. Okay. So now that's the library. That's good to go. One small task completed. I think I want to fill this in with dirt. How much dirt do I have here? Not enough. Let me see if I have some more. Boom. All right. Bam. You there. You there. So a little bit more even, you know. And I might do a little bit more. But let's, for now, go down and get those diamonds and see if my fortune 2 will help as much as it should have. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamond blocks yielding... 14 diamonds. Not bad. Not bad. Almost got two out of each. Not bad at all. All right. Now let's go up and work on the other project. All right, guildies. I'm back here at the site of my future chicken coop slash chicken broiler, I guess. Oh, man. This would work really well coming out this way for one and in that way for another. So if this was the site out which the chicken broiler would be instead of out the back here... That could work out better, as far as symmetry goes. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so in here, first things first, let's go ahead and set it up so that I can just uh, kind of get eggs going, just like I did before. Bam. Right, and I'm going to need at least one going into that. Right, let's do... <clears throat> let's do two. And then we'll do two leading out. And then I'm going to put hay bales over that. We'll do that in just a moment. All right, out here. Is this where that was? We're going to need to potentially daisy chain it once more. So let me go ahead and give myself some space to work with here. Let's do that into that. Let's get rid of this wall for a second. Let's do that into that. That into that. So if they lay an egg here that's going to feed out into this guy, and then this guy will go into the dispenser, right? And then the dispenser will students out here, and the lava will be here, I think. One, two, three. Let me go ahead and double check some math to see that the lava won't burn up my building. I'll be right back. Okay, guildies, I've hopped into my little testing world here, and as you can see, this is a pretty blank world. I just migrated from another computer, so all of my testing world stuff from before, I didn't feel like transferring over. I figured I'd just take one of the super flats that they have here, and one of them happens to be the redstone ready one, so that gives me plenty of sandstone beneath my feet to work with and plenty of sky above my head to work with, so this is going to work just fine for me. But what I wanted to show you was the double-checking on the research I found that where there's a lava block, the 3x3 three three above it and subsequently the 5x5 five five above it are all susceptible to catching fire if they're an air block and there's a flammable piece next to it. So, for example, if I had uh, a wood beam here or something, then... Because this one is touching one of those air blocks, this could catch fire. The air block itself is what catches fire, but that's the flammable source. And the same thing could be true for the one above it. So there's several opportunities for it to burn. So what I did was thought about my little mock-up. This is a mock-up of the building. If you'll remember, the grass level was here, and there was this here. The coop was inside, and that was the little way out that I had started the... Uh, 
hoppers. So I've dropped this down in there to see what it would look like to make sure that... Whoop, that's a little spoiler for next week. That, uh... Well, maybe I'll show you later. <laughs> that this is the gap that would allow us not to catch this on fire. So this kind of has to be here. So we're going to have to build my chicken coop broiler one more block out, I think, and then that would be the dispensers. Right now I have it to here, and then I thought I had a dispenser here. But I'm going to add one, a hopper here, into a dispenser there, and then the lava block will be there. And this is the basics of the system, so this is what it's going to look like. These are going to be the hoppers that come out into that dispenser, and the lava block will be above it, because here is where we will have the burnout clock. It's turned off right now, but as you can see, this is going to be a pretty simple redstone-wise uh, project. I'm just going to have three torches down like that, powering into these blocks. All right, all three of these blocks will get powered into, and this little piece of redstone here will keep it going indefinitely, as you can see and hear. Sorry, I didn't turn that off. But then this will be the lava block. I will have some blocks preventing it from going up. I will have a half slab of some sort. Let me just grab one. Yeah, hey, that worked out. I'll have a half slab, and the plan is to use this material. And then I'll also, because this is going to be how far it is, wide, one, two, three, four, wide, one, two, three, four. So this will kind of be the facing of it. So even that little bit back there will be blocked. This part will be below ground, right, if I remember right. Whoops, wrong one. If I remember right. So the dirt layer was here. Okay. And then I'll have a hopper down here that goes into a chest here. But we'll deal with that when we deal with it. This looks like it's going to be nice and prettified by the time I'm done with it. Okay, guildies, I'm back here on my Minecraft realm that Xyphus and I are sharing. And as you can see, I've prepped this for the event. Let me see here, just double checking. So if lava is going to be... Well, let me... Probably can't see it too well. Oh, ha ha ha. If that's going to be the lava block, and it will be, then above it by three, and above it by five. So yes, that's going to be fine. So that's what I need to have there. Let me go ahead and get rid of these two things, and make sure I get the basics of the redstone in place. Uh, this is all going to be kind of brick looking, so let me use these blocks for here. I'm not sure how I'm going to dress it up just yet, but these are going to be like this. And I'm going to do something that probably closes it out a little bit here. These might be stair blocks, for example. I might do that. Um, here? Yes. And here? Here? That might be what happens, and then I might have above it like a... Some, can it go in that way, and can it go in this way? So this might continue like this as well. So that might go up above it like that. And then I might have the same thing on the other side, so it kind of chimneys in a little bit. Hmm. Okay, guildies, welcome back. As you can see, I had a visitor during the construction of this event. I was just kind of stepping back from it, and all of a sudden I heard sssst, and the only option was to run forward towards it, so I decided not to, and... That's how it got me. Actually, I think I was standing like right here looking at it. Anyways, I'm going to be filling this in in just a second here. Let me see. Yeah, I got plenty of dirt. Let's use dirt to do that. Ah, uh, dee dee. Just a couple. There we go. And that guy. All right. So this is what I've gotten to so far. I do not have... Hold on. I'll get to that. I don't have enough clay for right now. So, oh man, that kind of worked out. So maybe I'll make a little path back that way. And a little path kind of over this way. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, I need to finish this up before I can actually put the lava in at the block above this. And then I've decided I'm going to make like a... This is going to be narrow, and then it's going to come on a, come up like a chimney stack, and then I'm going to have some smoke coming out of it. This block, I put a half block down, so if I ever need to, I can put eggs into the dispenser. I can just grab them from the coop over here. So if I need eggs, I'll get eggs, and if I need cooked chicken i'll get cooked chicken but i need to go get more clay and turn it into that before i can get going so in the meantime i thought i'd start working on the chicken coop and over here as you can see i've got uh some of the iron bars down to kind of represent the the wiring the chicken wire and let me see if this this isn't going to work this isn't going to work at all 
Bummer. I was really hoping that this would attach up, but it won't. But let's see here. If I can just, whoops, go ahead and get rid of this guy. How would it work with just iron? Not too bad. Not too bad. What if I put something... Hmm. Yeah, that actually kind of works. I'll just kind of leave it like that, I think. I think that's going to work. Get rid of this guy and bring it out here to this point. Is this how far it is? Yeah. Boom. Okay, so I'll close this in after I'm done doing all the light work over here. But uh, what's up next is for me to go get some more clay. And I need to make a rail so I can get a ramp going up into there. And I need to see what color glass I want to use to kind of block off the area there. I'm going to make it so that you can see the chickens burning. You know, there's going to be a glass block right here. And maybe a glass block above it as well. Or, no, reverse stairs because it'll kind of act like a, hint, uh, a hood vent. Hmm. We'll see. All right. But I got to go get more clay to do it. So I'll be back. All right, Yoldies, I am back. Thank you very much for your patience. I've almost got this built to the point where it can be finished and cooking. I went way over that away, about 800 blocks, and I actually found a sand temple, but I didn't get into it. Um, I also found a river, and I found much, 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 much clay, so I probably got more than I needed. This is what I'm going with so far. I'm going to put a... Uh, cobblestone fence on top of this to give it a little smokestack look and I'm going to cover these things up how am I going to do that though I'm going to do a stair up here oh I need that stair I can't get rid of it uh, but I'm going to do something I might uh, make this round in and then do that one round in so it kind of looks like it's kind of jutting out we'll see I'll get to that in a second but first things first let me go ahead and Put this lava in. It should stay there because the half stone slab should not do anything. Uh, this red is to kind of blink, block that little area there. As you can see, the chest still opens. We can still fire off the timer. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. So let me see if I can lickety-split, put the lava in, and then cover this up. All right, so here we go. Boom, lickety-split. No problem. So now there's lava in there. It's ready whenever the eggs are hatched and into there. This thing is fully operational, just like the Death Star now. I just need to kind of clean it up with some cosmetic things. And I do have the blocks to do that, so let me do that real fast. Uh, I said I was going to round that off for sure. Maybe, do I have enough to make stairs? I probably can. And let me get that to finish that up. And then let me get this little bit done and decorate it up as well. I said I was going to need some coarse blocks of course, dirt blocks, so let me pull a couple of these out. All right, guildies, I'm about to put the finishing touches on this bad boy. As you can see, I've added my smokestack, and I've given it a little shape here. It's not the best-looking thing, but it fits in with the landscape, I think, and it's something that's not very redstone resource-intensive. It just kind of gets the job done. Over here, I've been putting together the chicken coop, and I realized after I started doing it, that you can't put, what is this, iron bars on top of, boink, you know, uh, path blocks, grass blocks that have been turned into path blocks without it doing that. So I'm kind of waiting for, you know what, now let's do this. I'll just kind of finish it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put a door there or not. Let me see, I wanted to see how this was going to look because chicken coops don't usually have, like, big heavy tops. In fact, these are usually also, you know, metal <laughs> or chicken wire, I should say. But uh see how that looks. Uh, put a there's a torch right there so that should be enough light source for this. Okay. So, as you can see, I've taken out the glass block to make it kind of look like that's a trap door that they can go in and out of, but now we know that there won't be anything going on there. Let me go ahead and block off this bottom section, and... Oh, I will need to move the torch. Okay. We'll just put that bad boy right there. And we'll close this up. Bam. 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 And you know what? Let me see if I can get some chickies to pop in here. Bam. Come on. There you go. There's a little chickie. There's another little chickie. Now I've got two chickies out there. 
I should name them. Let me try to get a third one out here so it kind of looks like, you know, it's an actual chicken coop. There we go. Bam. Now there's three little chickens out here. They'll be out here for the time being. Let's put this bar up. And one more here. There you go. The chicken coop. Ah, uh, it looks like crud. Like crud. I should just take it out and leave it there without anything at all. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I wonder if I can reach them all. That kind of maybe one because now it kind of looks like a little water overhang. A water overhang? Like a roof eave. You know. Uh, but if I'm going to do that, they should just be stairs. Bah. I'll leave those there for now. Let's put this back in. Bam. Okay. Now it kind of looks like a chicken coop. That looks like that. Let me go inside. Right. And do what we got to do here, which is cover up this bad boy with hay bales. And let's do one like that. One like that. One like that. I guess I kind of wanted to do it the other way. So there, now we kind of know what those look like now. And uh, to prevent the chickens that are going to be here from popping out, we're going to have to do these guys. We'll get those ready. They're going to go boom and then boom. They shouldn't be able to get up from there. Let me do it like this also. Bam. Okay, so now that's covered up. All right, so to show how this would work, let me go ahead and throw a couple eggs out there by using the H command. Oh, fudge. Okay, up here. Why isn't it working? Uh, I'm upset now. Bummer. Okay, let me do it like this. Yeah, it'll work that way. Yeah, that would have been so much better decoratively. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is probably supposed to be an axe. Yes, I know where they're all going. Ah, bummer, bummer, bummer. Okay, well, that is what it is, so let me go ahead and prep it. Those are invisible, so those should be able to do that. Some of them landed in there. Okay. Um, those two come out this way, and those two go out that way. Hmm. If I change this one so that it faces this way, and then that's the only one that faces that way, I could face two that way and two this way. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's change up those directions real fast. That one, this one can come out. So that one feeds into that one. That one feeds into that one. Okay. So we're going to do it like this. Two hoppers. These two... Oops, feed into that, and these two, and that one becomes dead. So we'll make these two feed into that. Golly. The things I do. Okay. So these two will go into there, and these two will go into there. I am going to put some hay bales here. And get rid of these for reasons that should be obvious. And that's where the chickens are going to go. But since the chickens can hop up on here, I'm going to also kind of leave it the way it is. All right, so let me drop a couple chickens, grow a couple chickens in there. I only need a couple. These are mostly for show anyways. What is going on? How come I can't get a chicken to grow? Do I have any two? There's one. Nope, you stay in there. Oh, I didn't get stay in there. Okay, well, <laughs> here's what I'm going to do. Let me close it up. And oh, there we go. So now it's closed up. I will get up there and drop them in from the roof, I suppose. This guy is good to go. Uh, let's just go ahead and put you out of your misery. 
Oh my gosh. What is it with these baby chickens? <laughs> Boom. Okay. Now let's put these in here. And turn this bad boy on. There's one. There's two. There's three. I think. So we'll wait for those to grow up. And uh, eventually, hopefully, they will grow up tall enough to put their head in that lava. They will burn to death. I'm sorry. And then turn into tasty, tasty cooked chicken for me. All right. Well, my friends, I think that's it. All that's left for me to do is find a cave network with some spiders and get some smoke coming out of this with the spider web. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. My friends, I hope you like it. If you like this build, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, then give me a thumbs down. That's not a problem. I appreciate it. Leave a comment below if you think I can do better somehow. I'm sure I can. I promise I'll do better next time. 